Hello Glad Fems, how are you all doing? Happy Children's Day to all Nigeria children. Yeah, all over the world, wherever you are, I wish you and I celebrate each and every one of you. You shall all grow into God wisdom. Yes, today as I'm celebrating you children, I want to address uh by address something to you. You uh not children, but I want to talk with the parents. Yes, because parents are the are the role model of all these children that we are celebrating today. And I will be sharing my childhood experience and as well my teenage experience because I had a series of experience, but this related to children lifestyle. That is why I'm going to talk about this. It has been a long experience and I think it's better I share it out because it will be a very great help to any parent out there in one way or other. Yeah, I am a child that came out from a large family. Yeah, I came out from a very large family and we have to struggle for our surviving uh, by by doing one of those things to help our parents. Yes, whereby I stay with my uncle and he's a very nice person to me yes i was well brought up he treated me like our own daughter yes but notwithstanding i still did a lot of things as a africa child yes i do hawk yes you know by putting no goose on my head going from one place to another to say things and along the line i experienced so many things i came across good and also bad friends and it only take God's glory and intervention in my life that I didn't go astray as a child. Yes, because then I have a friend that when we are going to say some things, a mother may say, go with five things and she'll be leaving with six things. And the extra one will be something that we're going to say and we spent lavishly on sweet and unnecessary things as a kid but unfortunately for me i don't have that opportunity to do that because my auntie will be the one to arrange every goods that i'm taking outside for sales and everything is calculated and that so i don't have any other way around to steal or do anything on it or on trustworthy like that so i don't have the opportunity like my fellow friends but since I don't have option, and sometimes maybe my auntie is observing me, but I don't know. She will just tell me, You are not walking today. I will be like, I want to object. It's like you have something that you are doing over there. And there are some times that if I hawk before leaving the neighborhood, I already finished everything. And that day I will be annoying because I won't be able to go out with that, my friends, and all those men, men, and all that that day it already cancelled and as well and the what i can say about that is uh children can start stealing when mingle with someone who is doing such things thank god i will i am not into that before i will stop talking and uh, when it gets to a particular stage um i'm start behaving like a tomboy yes why is because I like moving around with guys, small guys, some are even older than me. And there is a big water very close to our area that the water do carries some when it's already full. That's how that water is so deep and shallow. But how we go there with those guys for fish hunting, swimming and all that. So if I'm not uh, having uh, people around me that are very strict, and were disciplinary and i would go astray in so many ways you can see i can risk my life going to that deep water to say i'm going to swim i'm catching fun with guys then it takes series of punishments and series of things to stop me from doing that things and later on i i got to primary five then and uh i think one of my seniors offended me. Maybe he's talking a bad thing about me. And I heard about it. I'm kind of pressing that. Kind of silent. But when I got annoyed, it's unstoppable. And uh, I went... What I, that? 
I'm sorry guys. So I went to to the other uh instead of going home straight, no, I went to the other street, which I know that guys is going to pass through as a girl. Have you ever seen a girl going to cross a guy? I used to do that in my primary schools. Yes, I do fight a lot. So fighting is a bad spirit that pushes you that it's a demo that will be telling you that you can do it. Push on, push on, go on for it, which I used to do back then. So parents, you, you have a lot to do. Yes, even if you are giving your child to someone to blow them up for you or they are with you, please and please, you need to be a good role model to them by supporting them pray with them be with them and because this is what really helped me and i still so by doing this i was able to stop being a fighter when i was with my auntie and parents. and at the end of the term then my father came and took me back to my mother and at that time i was like 11 years of age to going to 12 years and when I got to my mother, my mother and I, we don't have that much uh, relationship because I grew up with my auntie and my uncle as my parents. I don't really have that mother feelings with my mother. No, I just used to call her like auntie. I just see her like my auntie. I don't see her like my real mother. So, but I'm kind of a child that whenever I like you or I'm with you, I learned from you. So that is why I'm saying, parents, you have a lot to do. That is why I'm eating on this. Please, you have a lot to do. Yeah, right now, a lot of people were saying, you are such a good thing, you are good. It's because I came across good people that brought me up. I, I, came, I, I was brought up by a good auntie and uncle. My mother, she did a lot of things. Yes, I did so many things back then that... I don't expect if a girl child to be doing, but I used to do it. That to the extent my mom don't used to beat us. Yes, she's kind of a person that don't know how to beat a child, but she used to sat at my back and press me down. She's a fat woman. That is the only punishment my mom used to give to me. But if I naked to you, you see a lot of scars on my body. That speak and tells you about how stubborn I am and series of things that have passed through yes i'm a good fighter i do fight that you'll be seeing blood dripping on my body as a small child and i swear but i don't know how to abuse person yes because when i was so young that i'm trying to imitate all that i used to abuse that your head is not correct and that they will punish me and that and later on i let it go and when i grew up more and more at uh, during my secondary level as well i have an issue that the school even gets noticed that i'm a stubborn child and they wrote to my results that gentle but stubborn and when i got to the funniest thing the only thing i just checked when i collected my results that promoted to next class i don't even see any comment but my father immediately the result got to him he saw that uh principal comment and teacher and principal comments and he felt so bad about me that brilliant or oh, gentle but stubborn which made my father get to know that i used to pretend at home a lot of children do that that they used to pretend at home that like innocent yes i'm one of them and um, my mom doesn't realize because she is a business woman used to go from morning early in the morning and come back late evening so i'm the sheer lady in the house because i have seen me as the first child so my mom don't know much about me that she, she used to say oh she's a good girl because since my mom used to see me i used to study i'm someone that i'm serious with my education right from primary theory because of the training i passed through I have an uncle. Yes, it's possible he may be watching me right now. I really appreciate his way of training me back then, even though he's very severe. And I saw him like a very bad brother to me. That why is he doing this? But it's a big thank you to you. Yes, because being a naughty child or be a naughty girl, it's not a nice title for a child or to make a parent happy. It's a very sad attitude. Then. Whenever I, uh, I need his assistance, he asked me to put it into, into writing. He used so many tactics to put me in a learning method that 
I try to learn ahead the next class I'll be permitted to. That is how it trained me. I start reading, I start writing, and do so many things. So I it derived my attention for carrying doors, playing with sand, and all that. Yes, to the extent that playing with sand is good to exploit with sand, but don't let it get too much with your child because I'm one of a, a victim of there is a, uh, uh, some insect that used to fall from the sky. I don't know, but once it falls, it penetrates into the soil and stay there until time that you will see a flesh and go into the flesh and be a host there. So uh, then one of it enter my system and they don't even realize on time. They just noticed I was getting fat. Yes, I'm getting fat, 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 fat. And when we get to a state, I start sickness. I I become chubby and getting born. They treated me for malaria, but it's not good. But later on, they they, they find it out that something is inside my body. And I was, they operated me here. I was caught here. They didn't escape from the first place that they opened to the back of my buttock. That is where they were able to cut again and bring it out. The sign is still there. We see how deep it is. So playing with sand, doing things with excessive, it's not really ideal at all. Please try to be a good person that will be very vigilant with whatsoever your child is doing. Yes, please, a lot of African parents, they don't have this much time or attention to sit with their child, communicate and interact. And I would like our parents to be doing this, yes. Because when I sat down and I think about what I've been doing when I was so young, I said, if I don't have these people around me to correct me on time, if I don't see anybody to stop me, I think I'll be worthless and useless because I'll be, I'll be so, so naughty. Yes, I'll be a reward child, which I realize. And I thank God, even my mentor, I have, when I grew up, I met a mentor, even at school, in my secondary school, when I I stop dropping bad habits, I become someone who is so shy. I start staying far, I start staying aloof. I don't want to mingle with anybody. I just be on my own. I like be on my own. But later on, when my mentor realized this, then this teacher is very sweet to Mrs. Akonli. No, not Mrs. Akonli. I I can't remember her, but she's my French teacher in secondary school. So she's the one. She, she she's also from my native town, Ocean State. So she she's also the dancing group teacher. So she tried to push me there, try to make me mingle with people and change a lot of things about me. And when my mother also noticed at home that I I started being alone, doing things alone, she started then she pushed me into the choristers in the church that it's a must. I must be useful to God as well. And before I left my uh, auntie place as well, she also pushed me into a children choristers when I was young. So the fearing of God in me started from the people around me. So that is why I'm advising parents and not the children. Yes, because at the end of the day, when the children realize that what they are doing and they see the reflex of people around them uh, in a good way, they are going to turn to that because that is how I turn from be, from real world to good child that my parents doesn't have anything to complain. Yes, so I believe this my story is going to be a, a very helpful to one of two, uh, two parents out there that this is what the children are like. Children like a parent who are corrective, even though they may they may see you like your own is too much, you know, but they are going to appreciate you when they grow up. Yes. Then when I whenever they were correcting me, I never see them as good people at all. I see them as the most baddest people to be around me because they, they corrected me. They are trying to fix my life, but I see them like they are overdoing it. You know, please never never say this proverb, I don't know how to put it in English, but I will say it in my language, Yoruba, that Ogota, uh, Ogota, Uwala, Arape, Bomoda, Bioda, Omaku, Maku, Wailojo, Waju, that, uh, let me try to translate it, that whether you do good or bad as a child, 
you will meet it in uh in the nearest future no when you are kind of parent that you say okay you can't give me that i'll be saying child don't kill yourself uh now it turns to child kill yourself if you like no don't be that parent try to be a parent that we we tell the child that you are going to make it you are a good person with a word of encouragement of a mother of people around the child it's changed a child's life a lot yes my mother do tells me a lot of things and these things make me too eager to become someone my mother do tell me that you are a good person that you will make it that you you are a blessed person yes my mother used those words to give me a fusho, a better fusho that is awaiting me. My mother will be telling me my fusho as if she already knew that as if it's tomorrow. Yes, that is the way my mother was trying to change my heart from being wayward to good person, which I think is a good thing to share with you, parent, right now. I'm still a spinter, yes. I'm not yet, I'm celebrating children which is may 27th in nigeria the children's day and i hope this video is gonna be a great help to you thank you so much for watching bye